Monday, August 29, and on this day we are celebrating the memorial of the martyrdom of Saint John the Baptist. And in this Eucharistic celebration, we are asked to pray for the intentions of Cindy Ayanosi. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My friends, to celebrate this Holy Eucharist in Godly manner, let us first of all call to mind our sins and ask the Lord for pardon and forgiveness. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord, Lord our, our God. Lord. May Amen. To God, our most honest, forgive us our sins and bring us to your everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, who willed that St. John the Baptist should go ahead of your son, both in his birth and in his death. Grant that as he died a martyr for truth and justice, we too may fight hard for the confession of what we, what we teach. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever, Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. The word of the Lord came to me thus, guard your lines, stand up and tell them all that I command you. Be not crushed on their account, as though I would leave you crushed before them. For it is I this day who have made you a fortified city, a pillar of iron, a wall of brass against the whole land, against Judah's kings and princes, against its priests and people. They will fight against you, but not prevail over you. For I am with you to deliver you, says the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Response to the song, your response. I will sing your salvation. I will sing your salvation. In you, O Lord, I take refuge. Let me never be put to shame. In your justice, rescue me and deliver me. Incline your ear to me and save me, O Lord, your response. I will sing your salvation. Be my rock of refuge, a stronghold to give me safety. For you are my rock and my fortress. O my God, rescue me from the hand of the wicked, your response. I will sing your salvation. For you are my hope, O Lord, my trust, O God, from my youth. On you I depend from birth, from my mother's womb. You are my strength, your response. I will sing your salvation. My mouth shall declare your justice, day by day your salvation. O God, you have taught me from my youth. Until the present, I proclaim your wondrous deeds, your response. I will I sing, sing your, your salvation. Alleluia. For the sake of righteousness, for 
this is the kingdom of heaven. Alleluia. 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 The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Chapter 6, verses 17 to 29. Herod was the one who had John the Baptist arrested and bound in prison on account of Herodias, the wife of his brother Philip, whom he had married. John had said to Herod, It is not lawful for you to have your brother's wife. Herodias harbored a grudge against him and wanted to kill him but was unable to do so. Herod feared John, knowing him to be a righteous and holy man, and kept him in custody. When he heard him speak, he was very much perplexed, yet he liked to listen to him. She had an opportunity one day when Herod, on his birthday, gave a banquet for his courteous, his military officers, and the leading men of Galilee. Herodias, own daughter, came in and performed a dance that delighted Herod and his guests. The king said to the girl, Ask of me whatever you wish, and I will grant it to you. He even soared many things to her. I will grant you whatever you ask of me, even to half of my kingdom. She went out and said to her mother, what shall I ask for? She replied, she replied, the head of John the Baptist. The girl hurried back to the king's presence and made her request. I want you to give me at once on a platter the head of John the Baptist. The king was deeply distressed, but because of his oaths and the guests, he did not wish to break his word to her. So he promptly dispatched an executioner with orders to bring back his head. He went off and beheaded him in the prison. He brought, he brought in the head on a platter plat and gave it to the girl. The girl, in turn, gave it to her mother. When his disciples heard about it, they came and took his body and laid it in a tomb. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So today we are celebrating the memorial of the martyrdom of James, Saint John the Baptist. The unholy alliance between King Herod and Herodias and her daughter led to the beheading of John the Baptist. And when I was reflecting about this martyrdom of um, St. John the Baptist, you know, I thought about three brief thoughts. Three brief thoughts came to me and I would like to share with you these three thoughts. Number one, John the Baptist was a faithful witness of and to truth and justice. We read in the Gospel today that Herod feared John knowing him to be a righteous and holy man. Just imagine this. Herod was a very powerful king. Had thousands of soldiers behind him, yet he feared this man who was nothing. Why? Because he was righteous. He was a man of God. He was a man of truth. He was a holy man. John the Baptist spoke truth to power. So the power, the powerful king beheaded him 
and came. John the Baptist did not, he was not afraid to proclaim the truth. He was not afraid to tell the truth as it is to the king, even though he was powerful. So he died as a powerful and faithful witness to truth and justice that is Christ. Because Jesus is the total embodiment of truth and justice. So John the Baptist is a faithful witness to the truth and justice that is Christ. Number two, he was a model for a christ sended life. We read in the Gospels that when he started baptizing people and Jordan, people started coming to him and they asked him, are you the one who is to come or we have to wait for another one? And so John the Baptist said to them, I baptize you with water. But the one who is going to come after me is mightier than me. And he is going to baptize you with the Holy Spirit and fire. And he said these words, which are now famous words of um, John the Baptist. He must increase and I must decrease. Wow. Christ must increase in my life as they journey along, and I, my ego, my pride, my way of thinking should decrease more and more. He truly led a Christ-centered life, so he is a true model for a Christ-centered life for all of us. And number three, his whole life was a pointer to Christ. He came to prepare the way of the Lord, and he did indeed, his whole life was pointing to Christ. You know, when he was baptized in Jordan, Jesus passed by, we read in the Gospels. And when he saw Jesus passing by, walking by, he said to the people, Behold the Lamb of God. He was the one who introduced Jesus to the crowd. He pointed to Christ. Not only to his words, but his whole life was pointed to Christ. My friends, John the Baptist was a faithful witness to truth and justice that is Christ. He was a true model for Christ-centered life and he was a whole his whole life was pointing to Christ. As we listen to these uh, reflections, what, are the, what, what is the Lord calling you to do as we reflect on the martyrdom of St. John the Baptist? In a few minutes from now, our Lord Jesus Christ is going to come into our hearts when he comes into our heart, hearts, whatever he is calling you, ask for the grace. Because only with his grace, we will be able to do anything that is Christ-like. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us now lift up our prayers and petitions to our Heavenly Father, who is slow to end and abounding in love. For the Church, all the members and leaders of the body of Christ may be growing faith and love and justice. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we, as Christians, as followers of Christ, may not be afraid of telling the truth and standing for justice, even if it costs a lot of things in our lives. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the nations, may all peoples work together for the establishment of peace and justice for all. We pray to the Lord. 
Lord, hear our prayer. For blessings on our labors, that our work be fruitful. We cry to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are burdened, may they find relief and strength in the Lord. We cry to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the realization that all life is a blessing to be cherished from conception to natural death. We cry to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for the intentions of Cindy, I do see. We cry to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all the intentions that lie in the bottom of our hearts, unexpressed and unknown. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Glory is God who sent your only Son to show us the way to eternal life. Hear the prayers of all your people whom you have called to the service of love and justice. Open our eyes to see the way of your kingdom. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, and all of creation, for your goodness we go this bread to offer, which hath this given a human hand so made to become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands, for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good all, holy church. Through these offerings which we bring you, O Lord, grant that we may make straight your paths, as taught by that voice crying in the desert. St. John the Baptist, who powerfully sealed his teaching by the shedding of his blood, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and every way to give you thanks Lord, Holy Father, our mighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. In this precursor, St. John the Baptist, we praise you, great glory, for you consecrated him for a singular honor among those born of women. His birth brought great rejoicing, even in the womb he leapt for joy at the coming of human salvation. He alone of all the prophets pointed out the name of redemption, and to make holy the flowing waters, he baptized the very author of baptism, and was privileged to bear him supreme witness by the shedding of his blood. And so, in the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth, and before your majesty, without end, we acclaim. 
Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the Father of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and ended willingly with his passion into bread and giving thanks, broken and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held this worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. How do we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ? We may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, to one church, spread to all of the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Frank, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them in the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. That with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, your St. Joseph's spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you to all the ages, we may live to go age to eternal life, and we praise and glory for you through your Son, Jesus Christ. To remember to my end, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit. All glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and form the divine teaching, we now need to say, Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said your apostles, peace, I leave you my peace, I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let's offer each other the sign of Christ's peace. 
peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Let us pray. Grant, O oh Lord, as we celebrate the heavenly birth of Saint John the Baptist, that we may revere for what it signifies, the saving sacrament we have received, and even more, may rejoice at its clear effects in us. Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you for watching this um, um, live stream mass and I also want to thank Chris Maria for his faithful stewardship. Um, we continue to pray for you and for your families. Stay safe and stay well. God bless you. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. The Almighty God bless us all. The Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go, love, and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please come now in the prayer to Saint Michael. Saint, Saint Michael, Michael, the, Michael, the Archangel, Archangel, defend us in battle. Be Lord, our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan, and the other evil spirits who prowl about the world for the ruin of souls. Amen. Have a wonderful day and have a nice weekend, friends.